It's an intriguing eight event card at Clubman Angle on Tuesday afternoon due to the fact there are a number of new faces as far as the horse flesh is concerned in particular from New Zealand. We'll get to one of those races very shortly. But looking for tips, we're going to kick off in race four with Merakai for Ashley Grive. Now, this particular three-year-old filly, you'll see next to her name finishing fourth, but in 35 and a half metres at Bathurst last time out. Now, forget the run because Merakai was three pegs and at no stage from the 400 to the winning post did Ashley Grives and Merakai see clear air. She went to the line under a hold at Merakai. She's beautifully drawn for her assignment at Common Angle on Tuesday afternoon. She has the talent and I think she will be very hard to beat with better luck in running, no doubt. They're going over to race five and one of those keys I was mentioning is number four, Art Lincoln, now with Amanda Turnbull. Only lightly raced and one win and one placing from nine stars, but Art Lincoln trialled very well at Bathurst. So I think that's an indication that Amanda thinks he can go very well as far as harder company here at Club Manega than be at home at Bathurst and go around like she usually does. So Art Lincoln, I think, is worth the gamble. One of the other Kiwis is Neptune now with Robert Morris. Now, Neptune has a very consistent form back home in New Zealand and has also trialled very well here at Club Angle. So the market will be the, very, the best guide there between these two, Art Lincoln and Neptune, but I'm going with Art Lincoln on face value. Then moving over to race seven, ideally drawn in gate one is Rocket Coco. He won two on end in fine style and was beaten in a thrilling three-way photo finish behind on deadline. He was only beaten a half head in finishing third Rocket Coco. On deadline has been spruced as a possible Eureka runner. So you would think Rocket Coco should be able to handle this assignment. But moving over to race eight, and he once owned the Menangle Milers, referred to Cash and Flow. He's now 10 years of age. He's had three runs back from a spell. He's been unplaced on all three occasions. But this is a suitable assignment for Cash and Flow. He should be nearing peak fitness. And despite his ageing legs, I think he is the one to beat Cash and Flow in the final event on the card. He does have some very strong opposition, including Let's Get Rockin'. But Cash and Flow, if he's going to bounce back to winning form, well, this looks a nice place to start. So they're my runners as far as the specials are concerned at Clermont Angle on Tuesday. Until next time around, good putting.